and today we are going to go over my August monthly wrap up. Um, there's not that many books. Um, I didn't really read as much. I kind of like left out a few books from my TBR, but let's just get started. All right, so I'm not really going to go into a lot of these books. I'm just going to give you like my final thoughts about them. So first one is The Tempest and this one is by Julie Cross. This is a wonderful time travel book. It's probably one of the best time travel books that I have read so far, or at least the ones that I can remember because I haven't read one in a really long time. Um, the ending, however, is very heartbreaking. So this is the first book um, in a series, I think it is. So I'm actually really excited to pick the next one up. Next up I read was The Wizard's First Rule, and this is by Terry Goodkind. This one wasn't bad, it was pretty thick and hefty, um, but it was just your standard like fantasy novel, and you can tell how much the author really enjoys his character, just by like how much effort he put into them, especially the main character. So this was a really good book, it was very thick and took a little bit longer than I thought. Accidentally Engaged. This is by Mary Carter and this is just one of those funny like not too serious fluffy like beachy summer reads. Um, I kind of flew by this. Nothing too heavy about it. I just really enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Next I have the There's No Place Like Here by Cecilia Ehrhead. This isn't my most favorite of her books because I have read a bunch of um, books by this author. Um, however, it does have like a really weird premise, um, but I actually really enjoyed it still. It's just, it kind of lacked a couple things, that's all. Next up, I read a bunch of books for the A year -thon. It was Childhood Classics or something around that. Um, so I read a whole bunch of like kitty books. So I read Green Eggs and Ham, Hop on Pop, The Cat in a Hat, The Cat in a Hat Comes Back, and these are by Dr. Seuss. I also read... Um, no Dogs Allowed, and this is by Howie Schneider, Schneider, sure, and then I also read by Dr. Seuss, The Lorax, and Horton Hears a Who, and I just loved reading these, um, definitely helped, um, I like reading little kids books every so often, just because they're really fun and cute, and they, I like the colors and stuff, and it brings me back to my childhood. Next I read Frozen, and this is by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnson. This is book one of a series. It, like, the cover kind of suggests more like a teen paranormal romance type thing, but it kind of is way more than that. Like, you get way more than you expect. It's more like an adventure story wrapped in a love story as well, which is super cool. It starts out in a, like, science fiction-y type of thing and, like, works its way into, like, a fantasy kind of genre. I actually really, really enjoyed this. It was pretty awesome. Last, I read Chorus, and this is by Emma Trevani. And I did not realize that this was book two of a series which kind of explains it. It's a really interesting premise. It's about like music and drugs and like a rebellion kind of thing. It's super cool. However, it was kind of com like, it was very confusing because it was book two. So I really want to kind of read book one soon and then reread this one. Not sure if that's going to happen this year, but I really want to. All right, and that's it. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye!